Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, as I always do, I always start in the middle of a confusing spot of a game. It's my specialty. But we are going to be starting on this chapter. Not even at the beginning. This is just where I left off. And because I don't want to restart and redo a whole chapter just to get to it. Um, so that's why I'm recording a video on this game. And then we'll be doing Fortnite tomorrow, so don't worry. Um, Fortnite will be after this. I just wanted to do three different things and then, you know, back to Fortnite again, obviously. Now, let's just get into it, of course. Now, now, take a look. This is our objectives. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to follow north. And we're going to get all the androids back, basically. We're trying to get as many androids to help us or come back with us to Jericho. You are free. You probably know this game, and you've probably seen it, but if you haven't, I'm going to do a recap. Now, a recap of everything that's happened so far. Now, the one I'm playing as, Marcus, is the guy that used to care for an old man. That can You can either save his life or kill him, depending on your choice. If you listen to him, he dies, because... You don't, you listen to him, he gets a heart attack, I think, and he dies. And if you push Leo, um, he su still survives, and so does Carl. So that's what I did in my other playthrough. Like, off-screen, obviously. My, But this one, I'm gonna, I, let, I made him die. So that chapter, I'm gonna go to his grave. Now, that's, it's not only about this guy. There's also another person. So... I'm just going to add a little bit more to Marcus, because that's not all he is. So, basically, he cared for an old man. He got shot in the head. He got he th thrown in the junkyard, and he, made, he rebuilt himself with all the stuff there. He actually, he saved his life with all the... He found stuff in the junkyard to survive, and it was so cool. That was a cool chapter. And now, I'm doing this because I have limited time, so I'm pausing it by holding down this button. So, and Connor is the one who investigates these deviants, which is Marcus Deviant, trying to get all the androids to act like humans, because they, they, they say they are a living species. So that's why we're trying to break in the store with a truck. And so I'm talking a lot, but I need to explain this, if, if you haven't seen it. I need to explain it. And now, most of you, tons of people have seen this. But certain people, somehow, just somehow, haven't seen it. Then, you can probably just watch someone else, because there's no point in watching me talk for a long time. Um, yeah, Connor's the one that investigates the deviants, and he's trying to find out where Marcus is hiding. And then, that chapter, you can either kill Marcus, fail to kill Marcus, or become a deviant with Marcus and could go on the side and help them, the deviants win, which is what I'm trying to do. And what I also did in that scene with Connor, I made Simon not die. So Simon will come back to Jericho, and everyone will be alive. Everyone will be alive. North, Josh, and Marcus, Simon... Connor, they're all going to be alive. Kara, Alice, Luther, they're all going to be alive. That's the ending I'm trying to get right now. Um, so, yeah, Kara's actually the one who worked uh, worked for Todd. Todd was an asshole. Um, but he's nice at the end, so... She just kept running away like she was a mom to Alice. But then finds out that she's a robot later on. Alright, that's everything. Now, I'm going to put a comment down below, skip to video, if you don't want to see the explanation. You can skip the explanation, but if you really watched all this, I'm it means a lot. Sorry, it sounds very annoying, but it is a pretty good explanation I just did. <sighs> Without further ado, let's play the game. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. 
Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Oh no, I don't like timers. What are we waiting for? Ah, there's so much stuff to do. Oh my god. Oh no. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now, one problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Ah, uh, that's close. I thought that would work. Here? Nah? Nah. Okay, so it must be over here then. Okay, nice. Before we do that, Let's get the androids free first. Starting with the oh. We are superior to them, but they are our masters. That's about to change. Yup. Keep that mouth moving, Marcus. All right, where are we going? Okay. Save this guy. You are free. Now, who's next? Androids over here. You are free. Okay, they're saved now? Now, who else? I missed one three. Damn, that's a lot of time. There's traffic. There's traffic. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We need to block it. Gotta block it's it. One way. Shouldn't be too difficult. Gotta convert you and the other one. You're free now. Good. Okay, so we need to free more androids and intercept the drone. So let's free the rest of the androids and then we'll get neutralize the security systems. Alright. Shouldn't be too difficult. How do I open that? You'll soon be with us. Wearable biosensors. Hmm. Oh, there were so many, but it really was just one. Okay. So now what we gotta do is. Oh yeah, we gotta neutralize the security systems. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to follow the network. If 
before I do the drone. Okay, now let's analyze. Do you see the alarm system? AP400. Oh, that's the... The B100. That's the... That's that police lady. That Connor saw in the police station. You check in. Rollout day. Entering in office maintenance. WJ. Oh, there it is. Found it. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Watch out. You said watch out, but not what for? Oh, I'm sorry. Next time you need to take cover, I'll send you a memo. Oh, this is different. Shit. Wait, what? I did it wrong. They're coming, Marcus. Marcus! The cops were coming. I didn't do something. Never do that again. Got it? North. We've I... got to hurry. We don't have much time. Whoa! Looks I like fucked the plaza's up. secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan? Plan on doing that? Bro, I still have seven minutes, and they the already came. This is a five million times area, different outcome. I did not it. expect this. I like. I hate you anyway. Okay. Looks like we're ready. 
ready to make some noise. Thought we I honestly thought we weren't even gonna get the robots out of the store. Uh, that would have been such a fail. The police just fed up, man. Man, I really wonder how this could happen. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. You're gonna run over the android. You re Oh, you never, okay, good. Convert androids. Oh, it's you. What what is what did that do? Oh hi Simon Simon model. You're like us now. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with, with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! With I'm, with you. You. I'm with you! I'm with you! you. Then follow me! Okay, it went up and down, okay. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. OK, 
Okay, we're trying to get a good ending, so we're gonna be nice. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Tear off Lead and they'll follow. Tank. Peace symbol. Peace out. First, I'm doing this. We got more people, yeah! Get him out! Get her out! Come on! Come on! There we go! of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. 
I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti Support was found him? in the neighborhoods yes. of Cyber Life stores and they're still investigating. That's Two such a good... In a state of shock that's the highest I've ever got public stores. opinion. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat? That's the highest I've ever gotten is public this opinion. The beginning in my life. of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States. <laughs> I got the highest, highest public opinion possible. Now that's what I call big brain. That means at the end of the game, there could be a different ending. They could, we could get freedom easier. Who knows? I'm going to be playing one more chapter in this video and then we're going to end it. Okay, what's the next chat? Oh yes, it's Connor. My boys. Yeah. Hank and Connor. I love this. Oh, and this is the cross chapter impact. This is where Hank is on a phone call and that guy, those police that killed those and that killed those androids and we spared him. That's the guy that we could have killed or saved and he Hank would have told told Connor that he died or survived. Now he's gonna say that. Now that's what cross chapter impact is. Depending on your decisions is what happens when you're in a different location. It's pretty cool. So let's just let's just hear what Hank has to say. Just listen. It's actually snowing right uh, right now. So, is everything okay, Lieutenant? It's about to look like this. Chris was on patrol last night. See, here it is. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. 
Whoa. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. What the hell? How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Professor at University of Coleridge. Born 5 1478. Died 1 223. Okay. Nice girl. Uh. Analytical. An RT 600. The first Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. Ha, I just said she was nice. <laughs> nice place. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Okay. Hey, what is this thing right here? This looks cool. I'm just gonna sit down now. Oh, she's here already. Elijah, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. You sworn in red ice there? Or do you just have the red pool and the water looks red because the pool is red? He has to get his laps in. Talking Chloe's in the pool. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Don't you dare go talking like deviants. that. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite this intelligence. Is why I don't like this guy. Now they have free will. 
Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that wrong? Deviancy seems to spread, like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. Okay, Kamsky. But you. What do you really want? His eyes kind of look the same. Nah, actually, I thought it did. For a second, but nah. I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? No, don't. I'm sure you. you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic, plastic containing, containing him. him. Or a living being. With a soul. With a soul. Dude. Dude. You have a gun in your... It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Does everyone in Michigan, Detroit own it? Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare, or spare it. it. If, if you, you feel, feel it's alive. alive. But you'll leave here without no, having learned anything, anything from, from me. From. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation, Your investigation or, or the, the life, life of this android? android? Decide who you are. That's enough, Connor. An obedient machine. Or a living being. That's endowed enough. with freedom. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. It's like the devil and the angel on my side. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. Is itself a deviant? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I 
just saw that girl's Thank eyes. Thank you. Birkin told me not to. And I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yeah. All right, we met Kamsky. The only thing I never did was sit in a chair and save cost and control car. And I don't know what that other ending is. Yeah, you see that unlock? That yellow thing? Cops spare in Capitol Park? That's what that cross chapter impact is. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later. Goodbye.